Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to have the opportunity to say a few words about BIOMA, which is the acronym for the Bio-Inspired Optimization Methods and their applications. And this is an international conference that is taking place uh, within the uh, Information Society multi-conference. Mm -hmm. We organize it uh, every two years. This one was the third in a row. And the focus is on computational methods <coughs> that take inspiration from natural phenomena like evolution, like uh, uh, ant colonies and other uh, phenomena that can be used in computers to efficiently solve uh, problems that we have either in science, in technology or in business. The mission of our conference is of course um, to uh, present recent developments in this field uh, and there are many because this is still a research challenge and also uh, a practically uh, applicable methodology. Uh, the participants exchange the ideas and uh, of course uh, it is a special purpose of this conference to promote uh, these uh, techniques uh, both nationally and uh, internationally. The event is uh, a two-day conference, single track, highly interactive, uh, with the aim of exchanging the ideas uh, and um, uh, benefiting uh, from the experience of others. This year we had 14 contributions, uh, contributed by uh, 40 co-authors from 13 countries. And their works are collected in the proceedings uh, that is um, now also available. The program committee is an international one uh, the papers were carefully reviewed uh, by three, uh, three reviews uh, per each paper. The conference took place yesterday and today. It is already over, so I can show you some um, insights from, the, from what was happening. And uh, this year we are glad, we were glad with the audience, which was uh, uh, higher than in previous years. And <clears throat> we are especially proud uh, to be able to attract Professor Kalyan Deb as the invited speaker. Uh, Professor Deb is one of the most distinguished researchers in this field. He is uh, known uh, for his work in multi-objective optimization. He is a pioneer and a leading researcher in this field. Just in uh, short words, uh, I think most of you are familiar with what we call single objective optimization. We have a single measure and we want to optimize according to this measure. Many problems in practice are much more difficult because they involve multiple criteria. And if they are conflicting, we are faced with multi-objective optimization. For example, buying a car uh, may mean involving criteria such as cost, which we usually want to minimize, and comfort, which is to be maximized. Now, uh, having problems of this type results in uh, multiple optimal solutions. And the methods we are studying are particularly suitable for solving this type of problems. This has many practical implications, and Professor Deb was showing us how this is applied in industry, for example, in electrical motor design. Uh, other methods that are studied in this context include genetic and evolutionary weapons, and colony optimization, particle swarm optimization, artificial immune systems and others. I know many of you are not familiar uh, too much with this method, but just to give, to give the impression of what is going on in this field. This might be more interesting. It is where these methods are applied, and this is in engineering design, transportation optimization, and other optimization problems related to scheduling, like in electrical power gen generation, even space trajectory optimization, and protein function prediction, many very important problems for the today's society. Okay, the um, application domains and methods were discussed both formally in the lecture room and also in the outdoor activities. This is uh, from the sightseeing tour yesterday evening. Um, at the end, I would like to um, express our gratitude to the Information Society Multi Conference for the uh, assistance in the uh, organization, to the Slovenian Research Agency for sponsoring this event, and to, to the Josef Stefan Institute 
uh, for providing this uh, nice atmosphere and environment. Thank you very much.